This might be the most hyped up makeover we've ever done and we are definitely feeling the pressure. This is going well. Oh no! I'm so nervous. Is it gonna work? I love our crazy ideas. <laughs> Let's find out. This video is sponsored by Fiverr. Hi everyone and welcome back to Law Fives. My name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Story Girls. In our previous episode, we made over our vanity area. This week we finally, finally are doing the bathroom makeover, the ugliest space in our loft. Now we're actually getting some design help with this space, so make sure you guys stay tuned to see multiple mock-ups of what this space could look like. But of course, we want to put in our own two cents and gather our own thoughts first. All right, the day has come. <laughs> I don't even know what I would do. There's so many things. I like, I have no idea. This place stresses me out. It does stress me out. I hate going to the bathroom. <laughs> I hate it. I want to make it cool and different and unique and like a really cool experience since it doesn't need to actually be like super well lit because we have the vanity. Yeah, I pictured like a bar bathroom. Like mm -hmm. the ones that are just like, oh, it's so fun and you like remember them. Yeah. I would love to do something a little bit unexpected in this bathroom. Like there's a, there's a bar in Toronto where if you go into the bathroom and you press a button on the wall, there's like party lights and everything. I don't know if we'll quite go that extreme, but I definitely want to have some fun surprises and just make it super interesting and cool. We also, this is definitely still like the painting wash station. So like keeping that in mind. Yeah, I absolutely hate these sinks. <laughs> the sad thing is, is like our landlord just put this in like right before we moved in. I'm hoping there's a way to make it work and that it's doable. That's why I'm glad we got help with this because like there's so many different things that we could have done and I just like, I want to have fresh eyes on it. Yeah. Like, we've been doing this whole space. I feel like I've thought about all these different spaces so many times. It's like, what would someone else do? So when Fiverr reached out to collaborate on a video, we thought this would be the perfect video to work with them on. If you guys don't know what Fiverr is, it is a platform where you can find and hire hundreds of different talented freelancers, such as logo designers or photo editors or website developers or interior designers, you know, if we're not available. <laughs> Fiverr is seriously the go-to place for young entrepreneurs like ourselves to help bring our ideas to life for some really good prices, because saving money is always very important when you're just starting out. Whether you're starting a dope new coffee company and you need a logo made, or you know your office is kind of boring and you need some help designing it, Fiverr has a seller that can help you. It's hard out there for us entrepreneurs. Plus, I love the fact that we get to support other makers and doers out there by using Fiverr. I know we usually do the designing and I promise we'll put our own spin on it, but we decided to switch things up this time and hire three Fiverr interior designers to help us design our scary bathroom. Because you know, sometimes us entrepreneurs can't do absolutely everything. So I previously sent them some photos as well as a video tour of the space to create the designs off of. I did mention the paint station. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else I mentioned. I think I mentioned like this wall is raw. Mm -hmm. There used to be a door behind it. And then we were like, that's not okay. Yeah. Like, let's close that up. And then the ceiling, I was just like, it's, I, well, uh, I hate it. It's very, I'm in an office cubicle. Yeah, this is like, my ceiling. This fluorescent light, are you kidding me? I, I just really want to see what people thought of. Okay, well, we have the designs. Let's go open them. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm excited. Me yeah, too. I'm I feel like we don't ever get to do this, I ever. Know. I know. We're always on the other side of it. I know. I feel like weirdly relaxed, but also nervous at the same, it's a weird feeling right now. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Okay, so we're gonna go from least expensive to most expensive options. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what they got in store for us. Okay, so this is our first, our first mood board. Uh, oh! Okay. Very tropical. That reminds me of our old office when we had the palm leaf wallpaper. Yeah. Is this more of our timbre? Um, I'm here for the timbre. I really like that because that back wall, I have no idea what to do with it because it's we either need to like patch it and sand it, which will be so annoying, or do something like timbre on top of it so that it just like totally covers it. I love the idea of the wallpaper. I'm just not sure if I love this wallpaper. Mm -hmm. I feel like we did palm before and I'm just like slightly yeah, I thought wallpaper on that wall too because it's like the one drywall wall and like we can do something cool in the bathroom. The ceiling is really cool, but I just don't know how we do it on like the tiles. Yeah, wallpaper in the ceiling would be awesome though. Wow, this looks really good though. I love that idea. Here's a mock-up. Oh. Uh, oh, That is literally the wallpaper that we had. 
I think that's the exact print. Do they have us switching the cabinet doors then? I guess so. Yeah, because our cabinets are not that color. Oh man, <laughs> tampering the whole thing. Okay, this is our next design. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that. more more palm wallpaper. How did they know? Interesting. Okay, and also they're suggesting wood, but they're doing like a chipboard, press board moment. Okay. On the back wall. I feel like that might be like a little raw for me. Mm -hmm. Like I know we have like an industrial space, but interesting. I do like all the dark colors. That wallpaper is cool. It's like the plum, but like dark mm -hmm. tropical. Like if you were in the jungle at night. Yes. Yeah. That's fun. But... Ooh, nighttime jungle. I. Sorry, we're both like. <laughs> this is all so exciting. We and love they it. have the sinks and the faucets as being black instead of gold, which I think is cooler. Like it's more. Dark. What's the stool for? I think it goes underneath the sink because we have oh. a gap. Oh, I never would have thought of that. Me neither. If we spend more time in there, maybe we could do a stool, but low-key, I kind of want to get a portable washing machine. And we just did the vanity, so we don't need that as a vanity, but that is so clever. That is clever. I think you use the hole for that. Like, I never thought of that. Yeah, I'm really liking this design. I love the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. I love the dark gray color, like on the block wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only thing I think I would swap out is the the chipboard. Oh, <gasps> she did black cabinets too. I just noticed that too. I like that a lot. Okay, let's check out our last design. Fiber is coming through. through. Okay, this is our most expensive option. I am curious. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, is that? That's like a rent. How did they make that? Is that a 3D rendering or just like a expert Photoshop no, that's job? That's literally our countertop. How did they do that? I think it's a picture that we sent them, but like expertly edited. Holy crap. I th they think. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. And they did, the, the reflection of the mirror is like the right reflection. Oh, I can't. Yo, Photoshop skills. Hire, this is who I need to, you know, tweak all my Instagram photos. Just kidding. <laughs> Post them raw. I know, oh my gosh. Okay. okay. This one, I feel like the colors I'm not loving as much. After seeing the dark moody yeah. like board, I really want the dark moody. This gives me watermelon sugar vibes. Watermelon sugar, hi. It's very cool and I like it for somebody else. I just don't know if it's right for us. I also love the wallpaper ceiling, but I just think logistically, I know, like we just can't. Can do it? Because the all the little pieces. Okay, well this person's like editing skills are off the chart. Off the literal charts. But I'm e loving the vibe of the other one's better. Yeah, me too. Great. I love when we're aligned. <laughs> so we know what we want to do. We're going to do a little. I think we're closest to the second, the second person. Yeah. Person. But the t that timbre inspo picture from the first one, mm -hmm. we're doing that. Wow. That went so well. It did. Okay. I want to do it again. It happened. Design all my rooms. If you guys want to check out these three interior designers as well as some other creatives that we're really excited about, there will be a link in the description to check out our curated store. There are a lot of great people on Fiverr, so our curated store is a great place to start. It's the next day and we are finally starting this ugly bathroom makeover. <laughs> it's officially been dubbed the ugly bathroom, the ugly bathroom makeover. I feel like we should just like prop this open. <laughs> Did you actually paste over the, the string hole? I tried. That's so funny. That's why we had the string, because it was literally from the when the guys were building the space, right? They did that, not us. So you guys saw in a previous Law Fives episode that we had a string attached to the outside of the door and you guys were confused and you wanted answers. Well, the simple answer is it's just a string that would help us keep the door open because sometimes you're not just using it as the bathroom. Sometimes you're like working in there, like washing paintbrushes and you don't want to be locked in the scary bathroom. Okay, so I think that there's two tasks that we can do. Mm -hmm. Uno is the timbre again. The wood again. I know you did it last time, so I will volunteer. Because I did it twice Why? already. How? Oh, on the mm -hmm. credenza thing? Yeah. Okay, fine. So you're an expert. Hold up. She trying to make me do that timbre again? No, ma'am. No, I paid my dues to the timbre, <laughs> and I, I'm good. And then the other thing, since we don't have the wallpaper yet, mm -hmm. we do have what, the fixtures and stuff, Karen? Yeah, they're really cute. You I like them? them? Yeah, we opened one yesterday. What? 
It's cute. Here. Sorry. But we honestly should just like wait yeah. to do the wallpaper. And the wallpaper will decide the wall color and the ceiling color because I want to make it match. And then maybe our landlord can come over today and we can talk to him about this. Because I don't like these. But we got to go ahead to paint these. Yeah. Because I don't mind that this is like con like trying to be concrete. That's kind of <laughs> cool. But this trying to be wood and we're already doing other wood, it's just like a lot. Yeah. It was a deal breaker for me. I'm like, if we're going to do this wood, then this wood needs to be not. So I want to bring this timbre effect to the counter and do like this little half wall beside the toilet. I think it'll just make this toilet feel like it's even more private in its own little space. I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but the idea is there. No pressure. You're gonna have a much better time than I did because I had to do it into concrete walls. That was terrible. You have drywall, so easy. Okay, all right. So I'll just take the doors off to get them primed and stuff, and then... Yeah, are we paint... We're gonna paint the handles too, right? Yeah. While Becky gets started prepping the cabinet doors, I'm gonna get started on cutting all the pieces for our timber wall. Oh, the desk don't look nice. Oh my god, look, this is purple. Cool. The pros of having a million different paint samples. <laughs> Before we put the timbre on the wall, I'm actually going to be painting the wall black to match the dark tones in the wallpaper that we chose. Super excited for you guys to see that. And don't ask why I'm using the world's smallest roller. I thought that there would be less wall to paint. So our landlord stopped by today and we actually thought we would get his input. He knows all about the kitchen, cabinet, bathroom, sink, world, and we don't. So we're asking him for advice. Basically all we need are some really durable sinks that are gonna hold up to all the paintbrush washing we plan to do in here. So it's the next day and Kelsey's not here, but I did discuss some things with her that we wanted to tackle today. And one of them was this overhead light. The kind of cover plate on it is just so standard. It's in every office place. So we want to swap it out for something a little cool and different. So I'm taking it down to measure it so we can get something new made. How am I here doing this again? Tell me. Just kidding, it's fine, the work has to get done, and honestly, I've done this so many times before that I'm kind of an expert at it. So let's do the thing. Listen, I don't know how I got roped into doing this when I thought I was off the hook from last time. That's just me today, so I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> One thing I wanna try this time though is making the spacing between the pieces even smaller, because before we were using the width of this and you could just really see it. So we have this piece of MDF from something that's even skinnier. So maybe I can try and use that as my spacer. I guess let me just start and we'll, we'll see how she goes. Same process as the last two times. Okay, I don't know where to put these. <laughs> sure. Ah, my paint wasn't dry. Which paint? I just had to touch oh. up some spots. I was like, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> if that's not dry yet, it's never drying. You're wearing gloves. I know. <laughs> Is this a one person job? I'm not sure. Okay. Our poor neighbors behind this wall are gonna hear this all day today. Sorry, not sorry. Is my spacer gonna work? Ah, 
Don't worry, once I get in the flow of this, it's gonna be so easy, so stress-free. Yeah? Yeah. I like that spacing. Okay, just, I'll just keep doing it. Hello? Oh, you can come right now? Um, yeah, okay, great. See you. The new sinks are here. I'm so ready to have those swapped from the old ones. I can't wait to see them in place. So this is how far I got until I ran out of cut pieces. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I think it looks so different, so good. It gives me like 70s basement vibes, but I do like it. Yeah. And these, yes. These got done. I know it's like so weird that we have like basically laundry sinks in our bathroom, <laughs> but this, it was so hard to find a sink size. Well, and just for DIYing, like the space to clean things in is so key. The conundrum of like that one needs to be deep for washing paintbrushes and DIY projects, but then this one can be normal is like. But like, would it look ma bad matching? Yeah, yeah. We've already been through this. This. Why are we restressing ourselves? I don't know. We've already decided it looks okay, great. Okay, Lauren. What are some new things we can stress <laughs> over? Well, I have the paint, so this can all get painted. Which I'm, I feel like that's just gonna make the biggest change. Yeah. And then you wanna finish the wall? Cause I remember you promised that you would do the timbre. Yeah. Uh, somehow I was doing the timbre. Yeah, I promised that. You know. I had to go work on making home. You know. That's fine. <laughs> okay, but I will do it. I mean. Damn. This was a part that I was stressing about, so I'm glad that you did it. It's done. I want to start with this. I want to do this wall. Oh. This is going to be the fun one. Oh, you're starting with the fun uh -huh. one? It's going to look so good. Yeah. Do I we need this in here? No. no. Everyone knows the bathroom is the most flammable room in the house. But it's going to be so fire at the end. Oh, so maybe hold on to that. <laughs> we'll keep it in here. So I'm back on tamper duty and I have a couple of more pieces to cut and stain before we can finish this accent timbre wall. Speaking of accent wall, Becky is also working on an accent wall. We have a lot of accents in this place. We're such a small room. If every accent wall is an accent wall, then is there any accent walls? <laughs> We're painting this wall like a deep terracotta rust color. I think it actually works really nicely with the rest of the colors in the office, but also it's gonna work nicely with the wallpaper we have planned for the opposite wall. This is what I thought would happen, and we're gonna have to go in all these cracks. Cracks, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a little faster. It's the joy of DIYing. <laughs> Learned this after the fact that like a super fluffy roller brush might have helped get in those cracks a little better, but now I know for next time, although I hope I don't have to paint another brick wall in here anytime soon. As per one of our fiber designs, we love the idea of the black cabinets. I think it'll really break up a lot of the gray that we have going on and it'll look great with the faux concrete countertop as well as the real concrete floors. So some of the fiber designs had us doing wallpaper on the ceiling, which I think is so awesome. But since we're doing wallpaper on another wall, that might be too much. But I do want to address this boring white ceiling, so our solve here is to paint it black. So we were getting ready for the new handle, which we know is going on tomorrow by taking off the existing one and then the door got closed and then this happened. Get out. <laughs> uh oh. What has to turn? I, I thought it was this that slides back. I was testing it before, but now. Where's the knob? Oh. <laughs> You have like paint on your nails, so it looks extra creepy. <laughs> ah! Kill that. Woo! I'm free. Okay, we just have one more thing to timbre, and that's the ceiling timbre. We just can't stop, won't stop.
I am so ready for this step. I know we've come a long way, but honestly, this is the biggest thing. Biggest, baddest. Yeah, oh, that botanical realness. Yeah, I really, this is like our version of the palm that was in the inspo. Yeah, exactly. This is a lot. Yeah. So yeah, I think we start that way, come this way, and then I think we cut the, out, the boxes up out after, cut them out after. Yeah, we might need to, um, maybe let's Bring lay this them. out to make sure like we're going in the right order for it to all line up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <gasps> okay, we thought this dark botanical wallpaper was a really smart twist on the dark palm print that we saw in our Fiverr designs. I know you guys are gonna want the deets, so we will link it down for you below. We got it off of Etsy. <laughs> oh my God. Etsy, we got it off of Etsy. It's beautiful. <laughs> Get yours below. Ew. Grossest consistency ever. This is going well. Oh no! <laughs> Was going well. Another thing we can link for you guys, these really pretty sconces. I think they were pretty affordable. They'll be down in the description below. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming together. And I like the the warm bulbs. I feel like they cast like a warm glow on this, mm -hmm. which ties in like the warmth of this and the wood mm. it's together. It's a vision. Okay, so we do have a couple big things left. We have to do the doorknob, mirrors, mirrors, and then we have a cover for this fluorescent nastiness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me interpretive dancing every part that we need to finish. Okay, the mirrors, <laughs> the mirrors. The, the towel rods. The towel rods. <laughs> the light cover. <laughs> okay, let's start with the doorknob mirrors and that. And that, yeah. Okay. I want to get this in because I'm like, is it going to work? Is it going to work? I love our crazy ideas. <laughs> let's find out. They're too crazy sometimes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so remember that light? We took the panel off it because we thought it wasn't that cute. Well, in replacement of that, we ordered this really cool smoky gray acrylic panel piece. I'm thinking when it's up there, it's just gonna offer like a different perspective. It's gonna look cool, especially when the light's off, it's gonna look like a nice black matte ceiling. Black matte, I don't know, is this a TikTok dance? So now we just close it up, back up. Hey, yeah, you can kind of still see. Yeah, that is so much better because it just kind of blends in. With the black ceiling. Why doesn't everybody do this? What? Well, most people don't have black ceilings. Why don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Good cue. Um, I'm very curious how it looks though when it's on. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it won't as look as good as it does off, but let's see. Oh! oh. Whoa! It's weird. That's... Wait, that's such a trip. That what? It's so dark without it? No, that it, that you can't see, that it becomes clear. Yeah. We have an illusion. It's weird. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm happy with it right now. Yeah, Danny and I like it. Let's move on. This new sleek doorknob is going to hopefully close a little bit easier. It's definitely gonna look better. And don't try this at home. I'm hoping I don't break it. Wait, it literally it literally says to try this at home. You're supposed to use a hammer. It's fine, guys. We're good. Bless up. We wash a lot of paintbrushes here in this office and we wanted a place to dry them. A standard counter drying rack could be kind of an eyesore and it takes up a lot of space. So we actually found this wall mounted one that will fold up when it's not in use. Really smart. I'm happy that we were able to grab this.
Danny likes it. Danny, sit. Paw if it's approved. You know why it's not approved? Because we haven't done the final touches. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna ask you in a minute. Okay, so final touch time. <laughs> So you guys might remember this vision board that was pretty much the only thing hanging up in the bathroom. And you know what? We decided to frame it and put it back in. This looks great. I love how we were able to take even the smallest space in our whole office, which is the little bathroom, and make it such a statement moment. I cannot get over how vibey and moody it is. If you have a space that does not have a window, honestly guys, just go dark. Just lean into the dark and it's gonna turn out so beautiful. I think it's this like little slice of heaven when you walk in there. It's very unexpected. I don't think we did too much. I think we're just on the edge of doing too much. This wallpaper, I need it in my own house in some way, shape or form. I know it comes also with a navy background instead of a black background. Just like beautiful, rich printed wallpaper. It just like speaks to your soul. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And one thing is that I don't think this bathroom would have turned out the way it did if it weren't for our fiber designers because they had some amazing ideas that honestly did not occur to me until we saw their designs. So thank you so much, Fiverr. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. There are so many more Loft Vibes episodes and we still have a couple more to go. We're definitely gonna do a full Loft Vibes tour at the end so you can see how this whole place came together in one shot. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.